We turn overseas tonight as our team goes inside Chechnya, where the totalitarian regime is a close ally of Vladimir Putin. Tonight, amid reports of violent purges of members of the LGBTQ community and of human rights activists, ABC's James Longman traveling there. And this evening, his questions for the head of the country's notorious police force. After reports of what's described as a purge of LGBT people in Chechnya, we travelled there. It's been called a police state, a place fiercely loyal to Vladimir Putin. There are reports of hundreds of gay men and women allegedly kidnapped, tortured and abused at the hands of the Chechen government. Amin escaped the country. He was working as a hairdresser when he says police yanked him from his salon and threw him in prison, where he says he was beaten and electrocuted over 14 days. That guy charged his... Um gun and put me right here on my head. What was going through your mind in that moment? I don't know. Something died. Despite a global outcry in 2017, fresh victims have continued to come forward. Do people recognize you in the street? We met General Apti Alaudinov, head of the police force accused of rounding up and torturing hundreds of LGBT people. Allegations he flatly denies. У вас в роду есть гей, он сразу тебя побьет. Почему? Потому что это для него является оскорбительным. Do, what do we know about this place? I don't know. He takes us to see a Chechen prison. Пусть мне покажут государство, в котором нету ни одного полицейского, который совершает преступление. So that's what you would say to human rights campaigners who say that these men and men like them are responsible for atrocities. I've reported around the world as a gay man, but in Chechnya, I kept it to myself. Until now. What if I told you that I was gay? At first, the general seemed taken aback. And tonight, growing questions and concerns how to protect the LGBT community and other human rights activists allegedly targeted by the Chechen government. As we said, David, Amin made it out of the country, but victims and rights groups say abuses are still going on. And those who have fled are terrified that they could be tracked down. David? James Longman tonight. James, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.